How it sounds. Great point, Jacqueline. Hey, Jacqueline, great talking to you. Thank you so much, Frankie. Right. Will you give us... <laughs> Brucey, Brucey wants to know, the crew wants to know, if you ever decide to run for, for a controller, will you give us the exclusive? Absolutely. Oh, that would be interesting. Could you imagine if she okay, actually... Okay, no that problem. That would be amazing. One of the callers? That would be absolutely... I would love that. That, that would be right a dream. I, nev I never thought about it before because I really don't have the... the um, you have a finance the background, politics. right? You have a finance background? Yeah, nice. yeah which is why. And nice. actually, I was going to suggest I, was, I wanted to call up one day and, and speak with uh, John Katsimatidis. Wow. He should really run for controller. I know he wants no part of being mayor, but he really should run for controller. Well, he is much more than qualified. I don't think he running. wants to control If he's going to run, I think he wants to run for governor, right? <laughs> well, governor, yeah, governor, governor would be nice, but I, I don't know. I, I, I think he kind of got a, a little disgusted with the, the mayoral race. Yeah, the, ran. the politics, the, well, the, the local politics, everything's local. The city yeah. politics is rough. I think he has a better shot as governor, to be very honest with you. Well, and, I don't and, know. And, and the governorship, you know, I mean, I think, I think Cuomo, Cuomo's running. Cuomo's vulnerable. And you know a, a Trump-like businessman, he does like a like a Lou Learman, like a Lou Learman meets Donald Trump, Lou Learman, and he has I I think he I think he 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 give uh, he give Cuomo and runs for his money. That's really interesting, yeah, yeah. Jacqueline. That's really interesting. Without a doubt, but I, I I still think he would make a fabulous controller. You're probably right, but I, but deal... I don't think he wants to be controller. I think he wants to be governor of New York. Well, if he does, then that's all more power to him. Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> great. He's done a great job with this network, Jack. And Absolutely. I tell you, he's done a great job with this network. Again, I tipped my cap to him. He, he gave me a shot, you know? Like, yeah. Nobody. And we're people... all very thankful to him for oh, that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. I really appreciate it. I'll be on tomorrow. Call me back, 12 to 5 a.m. I certainly will, and have a rest, a wonderful rest of your show. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Great call. Thank you so much. 800-848-9222. Let's go to Salad Staten Island. I tell you, it would be amazing. It would be amazing to uh, to have the, the cat man running for governor. He could have like a Lou, Lou Learman was, was a businessman. He'd take the Lou Learman playbook, do those infomercials. He ran against Cuomo, uh, the, the father, and I think that's, they're claiming that if, if, if it was another week, he may have pulled it out because he was surging, he was surging on uh, on, on Mario Senior. It'd be interesting to do, to to have a little, uh, um, to have a little a little Lou, Lou Learman, Trump type of type of candidate to run against. To run against uh, Cuomo because we need somebody that's going to straighten this. I mean, look what he's done. Look what the look what the Catman's done with the with seventy seven WABC. Resurrected it from the from the rubble, right? Eight hundred eight four eight ninety two twenty. Let's go to Sally in Staten Island. What's up, Sal? Thank you for waiting, buddy. By the way, thank you for waiting. Man. Yeah, no pro no problems. I know busy night. <laughs> Crazy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Not that much. I'm so I'm a friend of Pete and I'm yeah, no. we, we've, we've Yeah, I agree yeah. telling me. I just came in second in a big tournament paddleball tournament for Nice. Good for you. How long have yeah, you been playing paddleball? Huh? How long have you been doing paddleball? Th thirty one years. Nice. And I also teach I teach it handball the kids and pop their net all over. And, nice. You know, it's <laughs> and I got a manager that actually got that manages me. It's uh, Fred Kasha for Who Do You Like TV. Oh, nice. Good for you. Yeah, he Good does music yourself. and everything. Nice. He come coming out with a Coney Allen song and doing a lot of things. You know. Sure. How's your game? Like paddle ball? Do you play? What is that game that used to be indoors? It used to be a like an indoor game with a with a not paddle ball. It's indoors in a gym. A oh, racquetball. Racquetball. How, how was your racquetball game? Good, too? I won a few tournaments nice. in that the last few nice. years. You know, I traveled around the city, Florida. Good I travel you. all over. Good for you, my brother. You know, a lot of travel and, then, you know, got to do all the traveling. I got to watch out for the politics. <laughs> politics are all Trump, over, I, I'm telling you. I know. I wore a Trump costume, is, and I was, with, I was with my manager. We were promoting for Trump. And sat down, and I had a few things thrown at me. 
it's unfortunate, but our great president, he was great. And I, you know, I, I we supported him. We were the, myself and, and uh, at Cumulus, when, when, when Cumulus had this uh, network and then, our, and then our, yeah. the great, uh, the chairman of the board, uh, the, cat, the cat man took over. So yeah. Cumulus had this place. I was the only one and there was one of the broadcasters and it was Bernie McGurk. I got to give him prop. Wow. He was the other guy. Nice, yeah, he was the other guy that, that was a lot. big Trump. He was a big Trump guy, too. He was a big Trump well, guy. Well, the, the manager uh, uh, that I met, he's a big Trump supporter, too, a lot. You know, we all respect Trump, you know. He did everything right. The best. And uh, He didn't do nothing wrong, but... Uh, all the, I like, I, I don't want to get into trouble, but uh, I think that thing was rigged, too. Yeah, me and me both. I mean, I... I can't go into the vectors and the details, but I could. I, I know. I, trust it, me. It's true. I'm with you, kid. And it's also and all the social media and news was making all. Oh, please! And the thing at Washington, they are saying that Trump, uh, he's that Trump star. He didn't start that. Oh no way! That was he was That's trying to bring claiming. in right. He was trying to bring in the national guard, and Pelosi shot that down. You know, they were they had actual reconnaissance. Uh, trials. They were they were going through the yeah. because what happened was the federales they used the the Twitter the Facebook to surveil Antifa and Black Lives Matter, and they got them infiltrating MAGA, and then pointing themselves off as MAGA and they weren't, and then the U.S. Capitol I think uh, ten to twenty U.S. Capitol police resigned because of what happened on January yeah. 6th. because they were in cahoots with. Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and yeah. they they used that. They were dressed with the red hats, the red shirts. They pawned themselves off as MAGA, and they weren't MAGA. It's a disgrace what they did over here. And they actually moved the barricades. They had the videos. They had videos of big time Black Lives Matter activists going Listen, into in winking at the. What happened? <laughs> In Staten Island, they had the riots, too, that it would go protesting everywhere in Staten Island, bad. They didn't come to my area, but they were like, throw, it was bad. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, and then you got, the, uh, unfortunately, the, the, that's why with these Democrats, these demon Democrats yeah. and, the, and, the, and, the, and the rhino, the demon rhinos, I mean, I'm tired yeah. of these politicians. They are so corrupt. I mean, you got people standing up like Kevin McCarthy talking about Liz Cheney. He put her there. He put Liz Cheney there. I know. It's crazy. I mean, this we got all is... this. We got all this trouble, and with the new president, the gas, everything's going up. Gas, everything. Oh my God! And that's another thing. Oh my goodness. Gas, the mask. <laughs> they want you to wish to wear the mask, even if you don't. Right? Then you wear a double and mask. Then you... And and and, and then heard... says, "I'm sorry." That, then I heard that certain places. They won't let you in unless you have a vaccination card. Well, I don't know how that's playing out. I, I'm, unfortunately, with, with these New York politicians, obviously, that's their game, right? It's terrible. It's terrible. It Everywhere really is. you go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting vaxxed. You know, they're coming out now. They're claiming, they're claiming, I'm not saying that it's a big number, but they're claiming heart inflammation is, is, is coming out with these. There's a, there's, a, there's a, yeah, it's like heart. I'm not saying it, it's, it's a, there's a big number of people that have this. I don't know, but according to the uh, according to the, the public donate, domain anyway, there's a there's a number there. It's like a couple of hundred. Now, I'm not saying that that's yeah. statistically significant, but that's I I don't trust the vax, bro. I, I'm 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 an, I'm a no vax guy. I'm gonna stick to that. I know they you know it was all the numbers they said that peak you know and all this and you know it's crazy. It is crazy, my brother. Anything else, man? Because I'm gonna move to another caller. If you got anything else, because I'm gonna I know you've been waiting a long time, so I want to give you your time. Well, hopefully, uh, nah, everything's kind of good. You know, I haven't been on a, sh a radio show in years, so. You want to you, you wanna stay on? I'll get you a T-shirt. How about that? Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Sally, stay on the air. I'll get you a T-shirt. Well, uh, Eric will uh, take your information. Thank you so much yeah. for the call. Thank you for waiting, Sal. That was No problem. Thank I, you. My manager might call in one day. Yeah, let him call. We'll take his call. I'd love to him to elaborate on your career. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much for the call. Yeah, I appreciate it. Absolutely, Sal. Stay on the air. We'll get you that T-shirt, buddy. Thank you. Eric will pick you up. 800-848-9220. Let's go to Lisa.